emotions you brood. Good work. Shall we move on? Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any company. And perform the ultimate. To customize it. I cannot do believe how many beasts you have here. One. you brood nicely done now you're ready for something a little more advanced you can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture try these new designs on the floor or balcony Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Ah. Hmm. Uh -huh. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. 
Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. No, I think I'm gonna blow everything, <coughs> everything up. Lumos. Everything is awesome. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, sounds perfect. Dig this. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Believe how many beasts you have here. Okay, what else do we have to do? Oh, Professor Freak. Okay, let's go and talk to that doofus. Frogs. Another one star. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes. I thought it was odd, too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. In oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time.
What the fuck is going on with his robe? 